Hi campers, I'm gonna show you how to make your own white rabbit, just like the one that Alice saw when she followed him down that hole and discovered Wonderland. Let's get started, I'll show you how I did this. So campers, today you learned all about how Alice followed a white rabbit down a rabbit hole. And I'm gonna teach you how to draw the white rabbit. The first thing you're going to do is on your page, kind of down towards the middle, but not quite, you're gonna draw a circle. The next step is to draw his body. This is his head, and so now we'll draw his body. And his body will be kind of a long, stretched out oval coming out from the circle. You can kind of think of it like a big letter U. You see how it makes kind of a U shape? And of course, one of the things that we know about bunnies is that they have very long ears. And our white rabbit is going to have long ears too. So you make a little loop, and you make another little loop. And those are his two big white ears. And then on the inside, you'll make another loop and another loop. And we're gonna color those in pink when we're all done. To make our white rabbit's arms, you're gonna make another one of these sort of loopy oval shapes, and this is one arm. Kind of looks like a long, stretchy letter C. And here's his other arm, and it looks like a stretchy backwards C. So you're gonna make one on each side, and then for his little paws, just make three little lines, just like that. For his rabbit feet, you'll know, make kind of a circle coming out of the bottom, kind of a circly shape. Our next step will be his face. So you can start with two eyes. I'm just gonna do little dots. And then his nose is a triangle like this with three sides. To make his little mouth, you'll make the letter J coming out that way. And then a backwards J coming out this way. Now this is the first chance you'll get to share your data with us. And so one of the things we collected data on was, are you a first grader or a second grader? If you are a first grader, he gets two whiskers on each side. And if you're a second grader, he'll get three whiskers on each side. And that's how we'll know, looking at your bunny, what grade you're in. The next question we asked when we collected your data was, have you been to Girls Rock Math before? And your bow tie will tell us that. And here's how to make a bow tie. You're gonna make a little circle right underneath his chin. And then coming out from that circle, you can make two triangle shapes, or if you want, you can make it a round bow tie. If you have been to Girls Rock Math before, you'll do it with polka dots. And if you have never done Girls Rock Math before, you can do it with stripes. And I'm gonna pretend I've never done Girls Rock Math. The next step is his vest, because one of the funny things about the white rabbit is he had clothes on. So to start your vest, you're gonna make the letter V underneath your bow tie. And then in the middle of his tummy, you're gonna make a big W that goes from one side to the other side. And a line down the middle with some buttons. And then because he has a pocket watch, his vest has to have some pockets. The next step, of course, is your bunny needs a tail. If you like math, you do a round tail. And if you love math, like I do, you'll do a fluffy tail. Now the very last step is his pocket watch. And a pocket watch is a watch that you carry in your pocket and it has a chain that you can put inside your pocket so that you don't lose it. So you're going to draw a circle and then a little line that goes from the circle all the way into his pocket. And your watch, his watch, will tell us how old you are. And you can start your watch with a 12 on the top and a six on the bottom. And then if you do a three and a nine, those are the other important numbers on a watch. And then you can fill it in with one and two and four and five and seven and eight and 10 and 11, if you don't have room for all of those, you can just do 12, three, six, and nine. And then you'll draw a little arrow to how old you are. So if you're seven, you would draw a little arrow to the seven, and that's one hand, 
and then an arrow to the 12 to show seven o'clock. And now, of course, I get to color it in. So one of the questions on the glyph that you filled out was what your favorite color is, because that's what you get to do your vest in. So I'm gonna use purple. Purple is my favorite color today. If you want to use your second favorite color to make the vest easier to see, you could do the pockets and the buttons in another color, especially if yours is a dark color like mine. There's his vest. You can color the tie in any color you want. There weren't directions on that on the list, so you can do it however you want to. And of course his watch needs to have a color and I'm gonna give him a gold watch. And like most bunnies, you'll get a little pink nose and pink ears. Now, if you want to draw a background for your bunny, you can draw other characters in the background if you feel like doing that. Like you could draw Alice. You get to decide. Just don't color in the rabbit because of course he's the white rabbit, so he should stay without crayon over him. And here we are. There's my rabbit, I really like him. I hope you enjoyed making yours.